we're in downtown Los Angeles in some warehouse that's obviously used for a bunch of photo shoots because there's like little cool corners everywhere. We're shooting, um, I'm, <laughs> I just shot the cover of Vogue. Sounds weird to say that, but there you go. We actually met her today for the first time, physically. Our first thing we did together was um, we dressed her for the premiere of one of the Twilight films. And it got tons of press, that, that one shot of her. And I thought that's someone that we should totally like, work with. She's, you know, she's very the girl we have in her mind when we, when we design. It's funny because when I looked at all of them on the hangers, I was like, I don't know how. And then as soon as I put it on, it was like, you know, it works. I don't know. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> This collection we're exploring something that was much more feminine for us and so there's like all this shibori stuff like all that little textural stuff is actually like all this hand knotted fabric that's done in Japan and it's all dip dyed. It's cool to see Kristen in the clothes because she's not like the lady and that, that's exactly who we see in those clothes like someone who takes that and kind of twists it so she's like the perfect girl. I grew up on a set and I um, saw a bunch of kids rolling around like with jobs. It's like I could do that. I'm I'm, you know, so comfortable here. I think the massive mind-boggling success of Twilight it sounds really vague, but it's a whole story. I mean, it really it, it's it's not it's not fake. Like the, the people feel real. I think that's what makes a good story. That's what makes it, I mean, I don't know what it is that makes so many people flip for it, but I did, so who knows? I don't know how to define that. I would say in 10 years, uh, gosh, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. I obviously have been given all of these sort of incredible, like exceptional opportunities. So uh, hopefully I don't mess that up.